Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, I am running a special for December. The link is in the description box below the video. All right, so Virgo, we're going to take a look at your weekend. See what messages are playing out for you for this wonderful December. I can't even believe it. December 10th through the 12th. Right? No, wait, I'm looking at the wrong date. Oh my goodness. December 8th through the 10th. Oh. Um, we'll see what messages are playing out. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So take what resonates. Don't try to force any of the messages to fit. Okay. So let's see what else is coming up here for you. All right. So far, I'm going to start here. Um, you're getting a love call from someone. And we'll, we'll get a little more into it to see, but it looks like someone's going to express their love to you or send a message of love thinking of you. Well, just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. I've been thinking about you. Um, okay. You also have sunglasses. Uh, so if someone's got their eye on you, Virgo, for sure. And they're kind of like, I'll wear my sunglasses at night. They're hiding behind it. Like, they're, you know, it's, this is like serious, like Mission Impossible, secret stuff going on here. So it could be this person who's going to be calling you. Um, hmm. And you also have, oh, I never pick anything, cassette. Um, conditioning, replaying events over in your head, outdated thinking. A cassette could also be like somebody's, you know, you're sharing a mixtape with someone or someone sharing a mixtape with you some old 80s 90s johns you also have healthy choices so definitely in a good place over the weekend making some healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care being happy <coughs> excuse me i have like this little cough and last night i didn't make a video i needed some rest and i was just coughing like non-stop Finally broke down and bought a cool mist humidifier. So hopefully that helps. Self-indulgence, focusing on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So weekend looks like, you know, even if you work over the weekend, um, there's like trying to get that little bit of time for yourself. Um, healing some outdated thoughts or thinking or trying not to think too much or trying not to overthink negative thing. I don't think overthinking is bad. If you're overthinking positive thoughts, I, how can that hurt you? It's the overthinking of the negative, going down the rabbit hole and or trying to trying to solve a problem that's unsolvable. It takes up a lot of your time. Okay, let's see what else you have happening here over this weekend. A couple of more messages for Virgo. Okay. So you've got caution, finding out more information. Don't ever work yourself. <laughs> That's what I was saying, Virgo. Don't ever think of the negative. If you want to overthink, overthink the positive. Okay, you've got a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces showing up over this weekend for you. And Earth sign for some, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or this is a message for an Earth sign and a water sign coming together over this weekend. Okay. Let's get into the good stuff, Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? What else does Virgo need to know? Okay. Definitely a money opportunity or a gift will be given to you over this weekend. Or a, a, a job opportunity, investment opportunity, a big payout. Very nice. So maybe some of you getting that paycheck or you're going to get a bonus. Okay, some of you are going to get um, an opportunity to go back to school, finish your degree. You've got the lovers, so there is a coming together, communication and reconciliation and love this weekend. And you also have temperance, um, finding balance and healing, okay? Um, taking things real slow, being very moderate in your approach, not rushing into anything, you have two of swords. Yeah, so there's a decision. The lovers and the two of swords is definitely like a decision scenario here. So um, there might be a decision about connecting with someone over this weekend that you, maybe there was a block, Some maybe you block someone or you just kind of like, 
you're wondering if you should make some kind of compromise with someone. I feel like that's going to be on the table over the weekend that you are going to have to make a decision when it comes to love. But, you know, I feel like if there's a love decision on the table for you, um, just be patient. If you don't feel rushed, don't make your, don't try to rush into anything here. Um, I'm also feeling like with the Ace of Pentacles that you're going to maybe even not just going to school. Maybe you're going to start up a school or some kind of training or pay for some kind of training over this weekend as well. Or have people pay you to train you for something. Let's see. You might get an opportunity to go into like management training too. Yeah, I see that on the table here. But there is like um, a beautiful love connection coming in this. <clears throat> it could be with a Gemini or Sag. But this is um, like an energy of, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Someone's patiently waiting as well. But it's it's been a long time coming and it's coming together over this weekend. Hopefully. It may not happen for all of you. So keep that in mind. Okay. It's a general reading. It might happen for some. Um it might happen next weekend. So just, you know, go with the flow. Okay. Go with the flow, Virgo. I get a lot of comments like, yeah, this did not happen. I get more comments that it did. So, okay. I've got the star here. So there's definitely renewal and hope and love. Um, someone's going to renew communication with you over this weekend. Could be an Aquarius. Let's see what else. Could be someone who's in the, the public sector. Um, well-known. They could be famous. That's what the star is. Um, or they could have local fame. Okay. You do. Okay. Look, like I said, I mean, I feel like this is just a repeat, but the page of swords in the moon, someone is secretly watching you. They may have been secretly watching you. It could be a Pisces or a Cancer. They may have been secretly watching you for a while. They've got their eye on you, especially this weekend. This might prompt a reach out or a call or a message. Okay, Virgo, so you know, just so you know, I don't know how somebody could be watching you. Some of you might not even be anywhere to be sought after, but if that's, if, if like, I don't know, it could be like, I don't know, maybe you pass them driving down the street. Um, I do also feel like someone has, there, there, there is an energy of being very curious about you though. Okay. But keeping that secret, someone, you, it could be a friend or just anybody that you have any kind of connection with, they're kind of keeping it a secret. I'm not sure. Let me ask why. Why is someone keeping this a secret? Oh, cards are flying. These cards are really for me, difficult to pick up. Maybe not for you. I'll leave a link in the description box if you want to purchase these cards. I don't get any, um, I don't make any money off them, but I know a lot of you like them. So, all right. So why is this person watching you? Why are they keeping this a secret? That's what I want to know because they're blocking this. The four of pentacles. Oh my goodness. So much of that energy playing out. Standing back. I just heard that. Ooh. Stand back. Stand back. Remember that Stevie Nicks song? I just heard the stand back. Like that song. In the middle of my room. I did not hear from you. Um. Oh, okay. Because. Oh. Because they haven't heard from you. Okay. They're looking to see where you are. What you're doing. But why are they keeping it a secret? They're a little bit possessive, too. Ooh. The Wheel of Fortune. I just heard someone thinks you're their good luck charm. What? Why are they keeping this a secret? Or, like, why or why have they been? I mean, I feel like you're going to hear from someone over the weekend. They don't want you to know. Oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this person is trying to, um, they just said this person is trying to 
get some money together to take you or to go out with you or to, or to invite you out. Um, and they don't have the money right now. <laughs> they also think that, okay, this is strange. They think that you're like, like, it's not strange. I did say this, that you're a good luck charm. Like, I don't know if it's a meal ticket. What does that mean, spirit? Oh my gosh, there's, okay. <laughs> and they're also watching you, I uh, just heard glow up. They're watching, and they're, they're, they're watching you come from a struggle situation and seeing how you're doing much better. Um, why they're keeping it a secret, like they're not really telling me. I guess... Are they jealous? I mean, the Four of Pentacles there, there is a little bit of, like, possessiveness. Sometimes that can come with jealousy. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I, 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 honestly, you guys, I, I, I just, I'm not picking something up here. Let me see if I can just get another. Why is this person... want they, they want the success that you have that's what they're saying hold on I'm gonna get one more card because I feel like intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later oh Open up your heart. So this person, they have feelings for you, Virgo, whoever this person is. I called out a bunch of signs. Let me just, let me just get for some of you a real direct sign here. This person has like, like they've got love feelings, loving feelings for you. And they're not sure if you're a big walking red flag or not. <laughs> All right, Scorpio and Aries. Okay. They're not sure. They're watching to try to determine that. Are you someone who is like a long-term type of a person that can be in a long-term relationship or are you just someone who is not that person? <clears throat> I feel like this person, they have long-term intentions for you. Okay. So they're not really revealing that, but I do feel like you're going to hear from this person. You're going to get a love call from your person, especially your person. Okay, someone that you have on your mind. It could be those signs that I just showed you. What else? Let's just move on from this because I feel like someone here that they do, like they, they even want to be a part of your... If, if you're going through a struggle, they want, to be, they want to be a part of your struggle and a part of your success as well. Like all of it. They want all of it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay. You've got the Knight of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody's thinking about um, sharing a pillow with you. They're uh, so they think that they that, okay, they gave me that song again. Oh my gosh, the songs they think that you would like them better if you guys slept together. Remember that song that they just told me that they want to like show you. Okay, we are really getting into it. Okay, Queen of Cups. So there's a water sign, <clears throat> and they're also if you have a connection with a water sign, they're thinking about the you know, when you guys were together, like intimately, definitely thinking about this. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Queen of Cups. They're thinking about this. They want to do that again. They want to be with you. They want to invest. Okay. I mean, I feel like, is there any more to it than that? Like even with the Queen of Cups, like there are deep romantic feelings. There's deep feelings there, but they want so a little R and R, some vacation time. I feel like someone's gonna this person, this Queen of Cups, will be traveling towards you, thinking about coming to see you. 
I know some of you are like, if it's only for sex, um, well, it might be for some of you. Just keep that in the back of your mind there. It might be. But it's for, for passion as well. Um, let's see. Rest, R&R. &R. <clears throat> Is there anything else here? Okay. Oh, yeah. This person, this this queen of cups has is like obsessed with you okay they have like these dirty thoughts these physical things okay so um will they be showing up this weekend that could be the person who's calling you oh i hear my doggy mm. this person's a bit apathetic and when it comes to love so they might be a little low on the emotion totem pole <clears throat> yeah a little bit you might know who they are so is it sex yeah yeah, it's it's flirting, it's it's physical intimacy, it's it's um sexy, fun, lustful energy. Keep your eyes peeled out for that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, Virgo. So seven of swords. I mean, come on. Uh, I feel like spirit is trying to clarify something here for you. Now it may be somebody else, okay? Um, because there is love reconciliation kind of thing happening here as well with a water sign or an earth sign. You just have to let it play out. Let's kind of move on from this. All right. So you're coming to the end of some kind of struggle, releasing some burdens for sure. Um, two projects or two major obstacles that you've been dealing with that you've been trying to push forward or coming to an end. It's going to free you up a little space to move forward. Okay. Um, very positive news, right? So some of you need to clean out your your voicemail um, because you're getting people are call, somebody's calling or somebody will be calling. Um, I feel like you're. I feel like you are. Hold on, let me see. They're saying uh, like you're at the maximum limit in something. Um, so you need to either clear out a couple things so you can make some room and make some space this could be your credit card for some of you you've reached the max or you're almost at the max so try to like chip away at that um it, it, there's like something that holds that's got like a, an amount in it and you're at the max level you need to clear out a couple things so you can receive the calls or the the extra that needs to fill its place okay You've also got the tower mm. and the five of wands. What the heck? So you also have there's definitely, there's a bit of conflict around um, some kind of disaster situation. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what the heck that means. Uh, some type of situation, chaotic situation, uh, is surrounded by conflict over this weekend. Oh. Okay. And now they tell me. Now you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Um, you've got some people who are fighting over, <laughs> fighting with each other over you. Um, so I don't know, Virgo, do you have like, there's some, maybe some competition where people are competing for your attention over this weekend. Yeah, that's what I see. That tower energy, I mean, people are going to, like, there's people burning down the house to get to you, right? Yeah. So if you're on, like, a dating site or you are just out there mingling or talking to other people, uh, you're going to have a lot of suitors, a lot of, there's a lot of energy of people kind of fighting over you, competing for your attention. Let me see. I don't know, Virgo. <laughs> I was like, what? I don't even go out of my house. I'm in my pajamas still. It could be online. It could be out in the real world. It may not even be for you. So, Oh, wow. Beautiful. Okay, you've got a wish coming true. So there's something over this weekend that's going to come forward for you that you've been wishing and hoping, whether it's an idea, um, new plans, um, something, something that you've had on your heart that you've been wishing for that you've been kind of on this search for, that's going to come, you're, you're going to get it over this weekend. It's going to arrive at your door, like in a pretty package 
Oh, if you've been searching for someone, Virgo, like a friend or a, um, uh, another person, you're going to connect with them over the weekend. Okay. Searching for someone's number, looking for someone online that you know or you knew, or just putting yourself out there. Uh, there's definitely either a date or getting together with a friend, some kind of some kind of weekend little thing. Yeah, there's new communication happening over this weekend. Some clarity. This is like an aha moment. Like I found you, or, or somebody could be searching for you, and they find you, and you guys meet up over this weekend. Somebody's been looking for you for a while as well, and. This is kind of one of those, your wish come true for this person. Let's see, who could it be? Um, there might be some kisses under the mistletoe over this weekend. Okay. Oh, all right. I was gonna say, who could this be? King of Cups is here. Jeez, this is crazy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces yet again. So for those of you that have some kind of connection with a, a water sign, this definitely feels like a reading for you or a Sag. Um, it doesn't mean that whoever you have on your heart, that this isn't the reading for you, but this seems like it's playing more so to water energy. Um, also, there's Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So, <clears throat> But it looks like there's a water sign who's dreaming or hoping they're really stressed they have a lot of anxiety they're about to break down they don't want something to end there will be like a connection with this person there's also a water sign who's just generally oh yeah okay they miss you this water sign misses you virgo there's a soulmate connection with a water sign and there's also a reconciliation happening blast from the past is returning so that's somebody that you have had a connection with in the past they're showing up this you'll see them this week this weekend maybe even going into next week but you yeah there's going to be even an apology for some of, oh my gosh four of wands okay connecting to be together holidays celebrating holidays together <clears throat> some kind of call coming in with someone um you might connect with this person through family as well there may be for some of this 11 11 connection here and I, I know it's like is this my twin flame or is this a soulmate there, there's a question here and i feel like this king of cups you know is asking the question is virgo my soulmate or a twin flame and what's a twin flame and what's going on with this yeah so a little bit of that energy is playing out here <clears throat> you have a bunch of messages. I hope you guys like these messages where they're a little more predictive. I want to get some finances and work messages for you for the weekend as well. Okay, honest work. Oh, someone works as a bartender. <clears throat> it's okay to have a job that's not very glamorous. Get some experience to help you move up in the future. Success is a process, not a quick fix. Okay. Pouring beer, pouring glasses of beer, uh, if that's your job. That actually sounds like a fun job. Very social, like a bartender kind of thing. Some of you might want to go to bartending school or go back into it. You also have influence. Use your influence for change. You may do public speaking. Whoa. You may do public speaking, social videos or interviews your voice and opinions are important so if, hey listen i just want to say if any of you are thinking of starting a channel there's room for everybody so get to it and do it if you're thinking about doing that over the weekend starting a youtube whatever you're thinking about your whatever you want to do if you have an opinion or if there's something that you want to talk about you can, YouTube does podcasts. They have podcasts now and they're free, you know, so sign up, do some podcasts. There's something you want to talk about, sports, news, finances, whatever it is. Definitely <clears throat> get to it. Let's see. What else do you have? Okay. You have give and take. Be open to giving and receiving to keep the flow of abundance going. Give someone a chance and ask for what your heart desires. Hmm. And you also have unfolding. 
Access to greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly over this weekend. You are growing as you learn more and keep expanding. Gestures. You may be asked to help someone out this weekend or you may need a hand. Give deserved praise to others and you will receive recognition too. Nice. So it looks like maybe you're going to help someone move or ask someone to help you with something. And you've got wish come true. Your wish is being granted, but it may not come in the way you expected. No worries. It is just what you need. And you can try sometimes. You'll find you'll get what you need. All right, let's see what your messages of love are here. I mean, I know, like, every time I do a song lyric, I sing a song lyric, do you guys, you can post in the comments or in the chat what that's from. All right, go slow. Take time to get to know someone over the weekend, Virgo, because there's a decision that needs, that's going to get made or it's time. Yep, I told you that in the very beginning. There was some kind of decision or compromise that you're going to come to or that you may be confronted with. Take your time. Be patient. Don't rush. Don't feel pressed to give an answer. It's safe to trust in the situation. You and a person may be on different pages. Um, you may not share similar visions, but there may be a way to work that through or work that out. You are safe and divinely guided, so you are protected. And there's a relationship that deserves a second chance. Not a third, not a fourth, not a fifth. <laughs> second. I don't know how many chances some of y'all are given, but I feel like if it didn't work the first time, you try to make it work the second time. And then if it didn't work the second time, maybe it might be time to move on. Okay? <laughs> don't just keep giving chance after chance after chance after chance. Because then if someone keep, if you keep giving someone chance after chance after chance and no changes are being made, like they're not sticking with it, then they're manipulating you and you're enabling that. So make your choose wisely, Virgo. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, Virgo. Choose wisely. All right. We're going to skip the Chinese signs and just get into the charms and initials, birth dates. Okay. <clears throat> September 4th, 59. 1959 or age 59. Uh, someone's born in 81. We have the letter O, the letter A, the letter E, initials. Edward, Andrew, Orist. <laughs> okay, someone is 30. We have the letter K. Someone's born 1984. George Orwell. George Orwell. Any, anyone in the house? A charm just flipped out into my hand. Okay, 1989, 1975. And we have the letter M, as in Mark. All right, let me show you the charm. Some of you... Remember I was saying go back to school? Some of you might want to decide to become a hairdresser. Okay, we've got a pair of scissors. And these are very old fashioned looking, aren't they? It kind of even looks like a woman that's holding two, um, she's carrying like maybe bags of groceries um, or she's holding two children. There could be somebody's having twins. I'm also picking up And I see someone um, doing like resistance training with like a resistance. Uh, it's like a tube or something where you push it back and forth, you know, like you, like you hold it and then you, you go like this to strengthen the, the pecs. <laughs> you could be doing that. Somebody could be doing that. But yeah, there is some, um, some of you might just be going to get your hair done, either cut trim or a complete new do over this weekend for sure or there is an energy of um there's a connection to like a hairdresser or someone who's a hairdresser or there's a connection to someone who <clears throat> is you know it feels like hairstyling it's just an overall message of hairstyling some of you're cutting all your hair off you might have like your hair might be damaged. You might be going from long to completely short. Could Somebody might be shaving their beard or trimming a beard, growing a mustache as well, trimming them nose hairs. Come on, those ears, let's get it done. That's disgusting. Okay, so there's a little bit of that going on too. 
So I'm going to leave that message there. I hope that you guys have a great weekend. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If it resonates, leave comments in the description box below. Let me know how that works out for you. And uh, yeah, don't forget if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. I am running a special $99 for a 30 minute phone call for, for the holidays. So do jump on that. Prices will go back up next month. So limited time only. And yeah, uh, thank you to the mods. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on the way out. And I will see you guys back here for your week ahead reading. Take care. Love you. Bye.